All right, let's play this here. You got a front and then it switches to a side. Okay, and then a three quarter. It's cool to see. Definitely a good start. So what I would say, like the main things you want to look out for, there are a couple of things here. You already have a good reversal of this, especially the, this side as then the tip drags. I think we can strengthen this a bit more by having straighter wings with the tip going up. And then I would actually even go a bit lower, not bend just yet. Go a bit straighter into this, I guess, just for a stronger move. And then once you have this, I would actually break it more. So as this goes up, be just a bit stronger with that break. So that we are just a bit more, maybe at this point, even still a bit lower. And then it can flop up, but let's see how that works. Depends on the, depends on the strength of it. I'm also curious if we could actually go even a bit higher with this for a stronger move. That is purely for the shapes. The main thing though is that you want to have cadence-wise slower, so slow and then fast. Because what's going to happen is that you go down and you have a lot more wind resistance because you got your flat wings and you got the membranes and everything resisting here. And then as we go up, we're folding the wings. There's less wind resistance, so it's going to be slow, fast, slow, fast. In real life, some birds are fairly equal. Every now and then you even see the opposite. But generally, as a good starting point, it's slow and then fast up. And then on the wings here, you actually don't want to go straight up and down. You're going to have a pose here where we actually way further back. And then the front will be around here. So you have almost this here. And you can go, you can go in circles like this. You can have a bit of a figure eight. You can you can flap down with a bit of a forward move and recover like that. It's not uncommon to see figure eight as well, but generally birds go actually, go actually back to front. They definitely don't go front to back, but this is also a bit too standard like that. This is to me the biggest changes in your in this, and I think once we get into the faster timing of, of, or, you know, the change of timing of slow, fast. You can also have something where on this, almost like you want to push that chest up a bit. And then maybe potentially a bit of a drag in the head. And really, you will really feel that the, the wings as they go forward, the chest is going to go up as we bring those wings down. So it's not so stiff and even there. But it has a good beginnings of drag overlap. A bit of a lead with the head as well. That's cool too. You can definitely do that. That's to me mostly this. You're starting to have offsets there. We can play with this at the end as well. Um, but that's mainly that. Shape-wise again. And you might even be a bit higher here with your membrane. So we're rotating back. So the top side is more towards us. And then as you go back the other way. So that we see a bit more of the, uh, the underside of the wing. But as you do the the uh, back to front, that might already take care of that. It depends how you you animate it. And with the, actually never animated this rig. It's a cool rig though. But that's what I would push here. We see the top side a bit more, and then the other side more. So it's a bit more of an overall rotation. And then you can start kind of later on. So the the tail is not straight. Have a little bit of a variation. All of this. Arms are cool though. Like as you go down, they will go out a bit to the side. And on the way up, they come together. I feel like that's already starting to be in there. And then probably on the way up here, you can drag those legs a bit more and then up and then drag a bit more. With fantasy creatures like this, they are really not based on on um like you can't compare them to, to like straight animals. You have obviously inspirations, but you won't find something that big, obviously, in real life. So to me, that always feels like, yeah, and then you can take a lot more liberties with like full on overlap and kind of flop your arms, stuff like that. And then you can play with your maybe you have a bit of arms forward and they almost kind of kind of reach front to back. You can kind of play with that a little bit. But the main thing is back to front and then a bit straighter. And I might even push 
the extremes a bit, how far you go up and down. But slow, fast, slow, fast. All right. Hope that helps. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.